Okay. This is the original connector. This pulls out like this. So the top, the pin that was going to the top left is now the top right if you're looking at it. In my case it's blue, but do not go off the color because I've seen some where they're different. So this pin, top right here, which goes in to the top left there, they're both going to be the triangle. So the triangle from your power harness is going to go into that location. So say this is a harness, that's the triangle, that's going to go in like that. Then pin 2, which is the top right in the Raspberry Pi on the main harness, the one that has the two wire and the one that goes to the panel, is going to be the triangle. Once again, same thing, triangle, top left, even though I already said that. And then if you do the accelerometer, I believe that's pin 18. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 9 down, but go off the diagram that I have written, and I'm going to write this in on the website that this is going to be embedded in. Then you can either use the mount that uh, someone designed, or I just take out the two screws that hold the panel on the one side, put them in, and that's it. It's nice and neat, holds everything on, and I have zero issues. You can wire external power if you want with the buck converter, but you do not need to. Um, I ran it with the harness for a long time. I ended up doing the buck converter install on it because uh, I had a few people that had boards die and I showed them how to fix their boards. This was before Clipper, with some have Clipper now, some still don't even have Clipper and are running the buck converter. But uh, yeah, that's a, it's just a different way you can power it, but that doesn't pertain to this install. But if you are interested in doing it, you can PM me and I'll walk you through it.